2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, commands us to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Welcome to the battle. Jesus is Lord, not just of our hearts, but also of our minds. We need to be thinking God's thoughts after him. As we continue our study on great salvation words, today we are looking at the word justification, the rescue from our complete lack of righteousness. The Bible uses many different words to describe God's wonderful work in rescuing us from our sin and restoring us to his family. Each of these words describes both the depth of our need and the greatness of God's remedy. Salvation, rescue for the dying, he gives us life. Propitiation, rescue for the lawbreaker, he satisfies his own justice. Substitution, rescue for the guilty, he takes our place. Redemption, rescue for the slave, he pays the ransom. Reconciliation, rescue for the enemy, he forgives and restores. Cleansing, rescue from the defilement of sin, he washes us clean. Atonement, rescue by blood sacrifice, he removes our sin. And today, justification, rescue from our complete lack of righteousness by giving us his own. Sin has left us without a shred of righteousness in God's sight. We, in our foolishness, think we're good or pretty good or not all that bad. But that's because we're so intrinsically sinful. To us, sin is normal. Therefore, we don't think it's all that bad. But that's because of our blindness. If we could but see the glory of God's holiness, we would then see our complete lack of righteousness. This was the prophet Isaiah's response. When God brought him into his presence, the angels were worshiping God, crying out, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with his glory. And Isaiah immediately dropped on his face and cried out, Woe is me, for I am undone. I am a man of unclean lips, and I live in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Justification is the primary theme of the book of Romans. To be justified is to be declared perfectly righteous in his holy sight. God is all righteous and just, but we are all sinful and condemned. We possess no righteousness at all. Romans chapter 3 says, As it is written, There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understands. There is none that seeks after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Now we know that whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law that every mouth may be silenced and all the world may see its guilt. In God's sight. Therefore, by the deeds of the law shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law comes the knowledge of sin. You see, we need perfect righteousness to stand before the all righteous God, and we have none. Only Christ, the righteous one, can provide this to us. He took our sin on the cross and satisfied God's justice and imputes his own perfect righteousness to our account so that we stand perfectly righteous, robed with his righteousness, declared righteous in his sight. Hear these glorious gospel truths, Romans 3, 24 and 25, being justified 
freely by his grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood, through faith, to demonstrate his righteousness, that God might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Romans 4.25, Jesus was delivered up, handed over to the cross because of our offenses and was raised from the dead because of our justification. Romans 5.1, therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 5.9, much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Romans 5.18, therefore, as through one man's offense, Adam's sin, judgment came upon all men, resulting in condemnation. Even so, through one man's, Jesus, righteous act, his death on the cross, the free gift comes to all men, resulting in justification of life. Romans 8, 1, there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Acts 13, 38, therefore let it be known to you, brothers, that through this man, Jesus, is preached to you the forgiveness of sins. And by him, everyone who believes is justified from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. Christ is our justifying righteousness. In him we stand as righteous as God himself, uncondemned and fully accepted. Oh, bless the name of him who is our righteousness, the righteous one, Jesus Christ our Lord. O righteous Savior, we trust you, your shed blood, the gift of your righteousness, to cause us to stand accepted in the judgment hall of heaven. Through you, we shall not be condemned. Through you, we are justified. It is your righteousness. It is your blood. It is your death. It is your resurrection. It is you, Lord Jesus, that is our Savior, our righteousness, our justification, our life. And to you we give our praise, our worship, and our very lives. In thy name we pray. Amen. Thanks for spending time in the Word with us today. 